what's up everyone, I'm back with the video. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to add code for a mob for um, your resource, for your resource pack. Now, this one isn't going to be for the behavior pack, it's going to be for the resource pack. So, don't expect a whole lot out of the behaviors, because I I suck with behaviors. I'm only good with like the resources, and then I go online, find a behavior, and then I just copy it and like try to find um, ones that I'm trying to find. And yeah, I, I'm just gonna say I flat out suck with behaviors. I am really good with resources though. I know how to make resources a lot. And let's go ahead and show you something that we can make. So first of all, go on the body or go into entity. And um, I'm not gonna show you the mob in game because obviously I haven't made the model yet. But we're just gonna be making a bitmap image. And you're gonna be calling this um, puppet.json. Once you call this, go ahead and just apply that. Now go to cell blind text. Um, this is important. And once you go here, go ahead and go to puppet. Then do um, make sure it's only two. So one, two, format underscore version. And just go ahead and put the version. It's 1.10.0. Go ahead and do comma and do Minecraft client underscore entity. And once you do that, go ahead and do description. Once you have your description, go ahead and make sure you have your identifier. Once you have the identifier, just call it basics. This is what my thing is called basics and then the mob, so puppet. Basics puppet. That's why the B soda always attacks the mobs because look, the identifier is called basics puppet or anything like that. Then name this um, materials. So materials is important. This like is how everything loads, like the geometry of the mob, like the model, and then this is how the textures are gonna load. Like everything's gonna load. Like just like the whole entire system is gonna work. And now to do materials, go ahead and just name it. Default, okay, I was just making sure I was spelling that right. Default and then just do NPC. And once you have default NPC, go ahead and do comma and just do textures. So textures is important. Uh, make sure you have it. And just go ahead and just do textures slash entity and then do slash what the mob is called. So it's called puppet. Okay? And go ahead and do the same thing but something else. You're gonna do um animation. I think it's called animation, isn't it? Yeah, animations. Okay, animations. And you're just gonna wanna do um, that. And just call this moving. Um, so you're gonna call this moving. And then, uh, you know what? He doesn't really move in the game. Yeah. We can make him blink. He moves. So, like, if he moves, he blinks. I don't know. Maybe I'll make it to where, like, like his head can move for a sock i don't know or yeah you know what we'll do that we'll do this we'll do this okay we're doing this so moving and then we're just gonna do animation dot puppet and then dot moving would you do that go ahead and do comma and just do um puppet underscore general now if you do that Go ahead and just do animation dot puppet dot general. And after you do that, do comma and just do attacking. Now for attacking mode, we might make his eyes like go wide open and then possibly his mouth opening. He's like, I have an out of mouth. I'm not sure it's gonna work yet. I think I have an idea I just thought of though. That could work. Um, I'll get to working on the mall right away so I don't forget my idea. Or maybe I'll sketch it down. I'll sketch it down or I'll, draw, I'll just draw it out on like a, I don't know, um, paint.net or something. So attacking and then you're just gonna do animation dot puppet and then just do dot attack. Oh, two T's. Attack. Once you do that, go ahead and just do two spaces and just do move. You have to do move and then just do animation dot puppet dot move. Then after you do that, go ahead and do this. Go ahead and just do general. So go ahead and do general and just do animation dot 
puppet.general. Let's go ahead and just do attack. Just go ahead and just do animation dot attack. Um oh, dot puppet dot attack. Now wait, what you do is just leave that and then just do geometry. So do geometry and just do, um, I think it's default, I'm pretty sure. And just name it geome geometry dot puppet. Now once you do that, go ahead and do the next thing, which is render controls. So render underscore controls. So go ahead and do that and just do um, controller dot render dot default. Once you do that, go ahead and do comma and just do spawn underscore egg. And once you do spawn egg, um, you're going to go ahead and do um, base underscore color. Just go ahead and do comma right there and just do overlay underscore color. Now once you do that, go ahead and just do all this. So once you do that, go ahead and go to block bench. And once you're in block bench, go ahead and go to um, um, bedrock model and go to cancel, then go to paint. So this guy is like white. He's completely white. And then he's, he's like a little bit of silver in him. He's obviously a sock puppet. So go ahead and just do that. And just go ahead and do like a silverish color. So like that, and just go ahead and just copy that, and then just go ahead and do that. So now what you got here is everything you need for this. So yeah, everything's here, and that's basically what you have to do as you can see. So if I go to Principal Walker, as you can see, we kind of have everything. And oh, oh, okay, it looks like you missed something. You missed something. We missed scripts. So scripts are important. I almost forgot to do scripts. I I, I wasn't thinking completely. So make sure you do. Um, scripts first and just do go ahead and just do scripts now scripts I always copy and paste because look I don't know I don't care about math okay this is math right there I don't care and just go ahead and just do geometry and this whatever so as you can see um we forgot another one for the animations so it's look at target so it's look at target it's not really important though because it doesn't really affect the target's appearance at looking at just go ahead and just do that. Now, um, once you have that, you're basically, um, I think you're good to go. So, um, yep, everything's good. So, yeah, guys, sorry if I miss like two things out of everything, but I guess that's because I was just in a little bit of a hurry and I was too excited to code on a YouTube video. So, yeah, guys, that's basically um, how you code a mob, and all you do is just go to save all. And now, once you go into your body yard, sounds and then go to let's see if I can find it oh I'm in, I'm in sound <laughs> go to entity and then go to puppet as you can see it's like this now some of them aren't always like this but most of them are so yeah if it looks like this um it's normal um it will still load the model obviously but it's not gonna always work for certain things so yeah guys um it's basically all you do and also, if you want to check out um, the beta 1 um, for my add-on, it's on MCPDL. Unfortunately, though, um, even though I um, posted it to MCPDL, it's still pending. So I'm obviously going to change the logo eventually. It looks horrible. And it is pending, and I did have to fix my description, but I did make it um, informative for Grammarly to help me out a little bit. So yeah, they shouldn't decline it. If they do, then I'll have to go back into the description, redo it, redo the photo, maybe the name, but I think the name's actually pretty cool. Anyway, um, that's basically all um, I have to say. Also, you can go check this out right now on um, Mediafire. So yeah, there'll be a link in the description, obviously. So yeah, guys, I hope you're having a nice day. Make sure you subscribe, leave a like and notification bell, and subscribe if you want me to make more add-ons for you all today. Goodbye, everyone.